Hello, I'm the Budget Modder and welcome to episode 7 of my Space 1999 Eagle One Transporter build. Well, we've cleaned the engines up, now to get them fixed. Firstly, I worked out which one went where, then I marked them up. One red, one blue. My two favourite colours. Have you guessed that yet? Then I put them to one side and cracked on with sanding the VIP pod. Here I'm just testing for lips along the seam lines and to fill these I'm going to be using my homebrew sprue glue. Ooh, I'm a poet and I didn't know it. Here I had to add some homebrew glue, then give it a good shake just to thin it down a bit more as it was looking a little bit too thick. Right, let's put that to one side and we can now crack on with putting the cockpit module together. I did think of lighting this but I bottled it as there are decals to go there instead but I am going to do a, a lit di dio soon and just need a bit of practice at it. In other words, I still haven't done one yet but I will, honest. Here, I couldn't get my glue brush to the very end of the module, so I took the brush off the lid, used a cocktail stick as an extension, which then allowed me to reach the bottom. Simples. That's all glued now. It's also clamped, so let's put that to one side. Earlier, I primed Neil, Dave, Bob, Rita, Sue and Bob too as well as some other components in a black primer ready for a zenithal highlight. So, here we go with a quick show and tell. See, I've remembered. This is either Neil, Dave, Rita or Sue. I'm not sure, but I'm very happy with how they've turned out. Yay me! And this one's either Bob or Bob too, but again, another result. And here's the enclosure for the module. Again, another happy result. Now, let's get into more sanding. This is the main brace that the modules, cockpit and engines all hang off. There are loads of seam lines to be gotten rid of. I'm going to be using a deburring tool to get rid of most of it, as well as my sanding sticks. So, let's crack on with the speedy uppy thing and get it all done. Let's put the brace to one side and take out the seam lines on the cockpit module. Thank you. 
get into all the crooks and nannies, I'm using this profile sander. I got them from a very famous fast food chicken restaurant. They're made of bamboo and have a flat elliptical shape, as you can see on the screen, so they can get into all the areas that a normal sanding stick can't. A final check for seams and I'm calling the cockpit done and ready for priming. Now to crack on with the VIP pod. What I'm doing here is sanding, then running my finger over the seam to see if it catches. So, sand and check, sand and check. Okay, let's put the VIP pod to one side for the moment. As you probably know, I film these videos over several days. There's no way that I'm that quick. But this video colouring that's coming up and the next couple have a really dodgy colouring to them. I don't know why. I do know that I had a software update, so I can only assume that it played merry hell with my settings. And I've only just noticed, so I'll have to go and get them checked out and sorted. I really do apologise for this colouring. So let's crack on. I found that the cockpit needed a bit more sanding. So let's get that done. And there we have the cockpit now ready for sanding. And as if by magic, there we have it primed. Guess what next? Yep, sanding the VIP pod. I have to say the fit of this pod is bloody awful. When I was putting it together you get one side lined up and the other would be miles out so it was a matter of getting it about halfway between the two and then having to fill and sand and fill and sand. This is probably the most painful part of this build so far. I've also noticed that the autofocus isn't working either. I am so sorry about this malarkey. I'm not a happy bunny. Anyway, back to the build. I'm leaving the pond to one side to dry and I'm going to crack on and fix the issue with the rocket motor breakage. Once I'd marked them up, I drilled a 0.3mm hole in the end of each. and then cut four lengths of 28 gauge beading wire and glued each one into the one end that had broken. I 
I allowed those to dry, then snipped the wider lengths. Then, using super glue, stuck them back together again. Finally, I used some of my homebrew glue to finish the job. Next, I'm going to attach the straight supports for the rocket motors at the rear of the Eagle. So, using the speedy uppy thing, let's crack on! Okay, that makes me a little nervous. It all went straight together. Okay, what's going to fall off now or what's going to go wrong? Oh well, let's wait and see. Well, there's that done and it's looking good. Now to give the cockpit a quick zenithal highlight, and as if by magic, there you go! Now to prep the landing gear for priming. I'm using my homemade clips with a dob of blue tack. Remember people, other sticky substances are available. So that's the landing gear all nicely primed. Now, let's put them to one side and crack on with cleaning me balls. The balls from the rocket motors, silly. And stop sniggering in cheap seats. Let me just reach over and grab my other three balls. I bet I know someone who's jealous. So, there's me three balls cleaned up. Yeah, right, quiet at the back. Now let's get away from me balls. I said quiet at the back, and let's crack on with the rocket inserts. So, I get the internal measurements of the rockets. Write it down as my memory is terrible. It's an age thing, you'll eventually understand it. Then, find a punch that is roughly the same size, as you can see here, and then punch out four circular discs. Now, what we have to do is find the rough centre of the disc. To do this, I'm using a set of compass. You do this by getting the radius of the circle, which is half the diameter. I'm sure you can work that out. Score with a compass from two points on the edge of the circle and wherever they intersect is the centre. Then make a dot in the middle and draw across on the circle. A bit like this. I bet you didn't expect a maths lesson today, did you? Then, using a smaller punch, take sections out of the large disc at the end of the cross you made. It sounds convoluted, so it's best if I show you. This is what I mean. And this is what all four look like, ready to go in. So, let's get them all popped into the rocket motors and glued down with my homebrew glue. 